In this video, I will share four tips for selection high quality journal articles and avoiding the use of articles from low quality sources. This video is so important as referencing poor quality journal articles often leads to paper rejections and concerns from thesis examiners. Not all journal articles are high quality. Indeed, there are many poor quality journals and even predatory journals that they publish whatever just for money. In this video, I will provide four tips to filter poor quality journal articles. Before we proceed, I would really appreciate if you could give this video a like and leave a comment below. Your engagement makes this video reach more people and also motivates me to make more content like this for you. Thank you very much for your support. Tip number one, refer to reputable databases and indexes. I personally almost always use journal articles indexed in reputable journal indexing databases and lists such as Scopus, Web of Science, AVDC, PubMed, and EBSCO. Also to search for articles, rely on reputable search engines such as ScienceDirect, Scopus, Web of Science, and JSTOR. I understand the popularity of Google Scholar among researchers. However, Google Scholar does not filter poor quality sources. So be cautious and ensure you use my quality assessment criteria when relying on Google Scholar results. By the way, if you are not highly experienced in research, my suggestion is to stick to the reputable search engines that I mentioned in this video. Please keep this in mind that while being indexed in a reputable database is generally a positive sign, it does not guarantee the quality of a journal. So to assess the quality of a journal, don't rely only on indexing and quantitative measures such as impact factor. You may have heard of high impact factor journals that are known for their poor quality or in some cases even being predatory. And to prove this, we put together random sentences from random journal articles and we prepared a manuscript that was totally nonsense and we submitted it to a journal that at that time was indexed in Scopus. And guess what? The paper was accepted. See the link to this video in the description below. Tip number two, use journal articles published by reputable publishers. I strongly recommend using journal articles published by prestigious publishers to develop your literature review. The top publishers in social sciences are Springer, Emerald, Elsevier, Taylor & Francis, Wiley, Sage, Palgrave, Nature, Oxford Academic, and Cambridge University Press. There are other publishers in science and engineering like Nature Publishing Group, Science, Springer, Springer Nature, AAAS, IEEE, and ASME that can be added to the list too. There are other reputable publishers as well that you can Google to find them. Please keep this in mind that the reputation of a journal is not only determined by its publisher. So ensure that you use multiple criteria to assess the quality of a journal. Tip number three, avoid blacklisted journals. Make sure that the journal or publisher that has published the article is not listed in any blacklist. These blacklists contain journals that have been identified as potentially predatory or of low quality. Here you can see some of these blacklists. Also check the list published by the Ministry of Higher Education in your country, your institution, or your university for further reference. Difference. Tip number four, a high number of citations can indicate high quality only if other criteria are also met. The number of citations or the number of times an article has been referenced by other resources can be an indicator of high quality when used in conjunction with other criteria that we have discussed. However, this measure should not be the sole basis for assessing quality. An article published in a repeatable journal with a high number of citations usually is perceived as a high quality journal article. However, a low number of citations does not necessarily mean low quality. For example, a recently published article has not had enough time to receive a large number of citations. So citation can be used as a supporting factor to assess the quality of a paper if the paper meets the other three criteria that we discussed in this video. So in summary, in writing your research paper, thesis, or research report, ensure that the majority of your work are based on the papers published in prestigious journals, published by reputable publishers, and indexed in reputable indexes. If you found this video helpful, please like this video and leave a comment and subscribe to this YouTube channel for more videos on research and publication. Thank you very much for watching.